the, my very first show at, with skateboards was for Wounded Warrior Project. So it was because a lot of soldiers were coming off from Afghanistan or Iraq with PTSD and there was a lot of uh, suicides in the military. As far as now, from that show, the military is always with me. It's my discipline. I think when I began as an artist was, if I'm gonna do an art show, I wanna give back something to anything. And a lot of it was to the military, and I still do. All right, welcome to my home. My workspace. My work area where all the magic happens. <laughs> Handy dandy tool here, which is my wood burning tool. And what I do is already I have some of the uh, uh, scales done, but I, I like to go over the scales again so that I have much more texture on the actual skateboard. Use the wood burning tool, it really just embedded the image into the wood. This, this man who came in who was visually impaired. Um, I told him, hey, you know, you can touch it because, you know, it's wood burned. And so the man started touching this, this piece of wood that was a lion. And he said, is this a lion? And I went, holy smokes. I'm like, wait a minute, are you visually impaired? Are you blind? And he goes, yeah, I'm blind. I'm, but I can figure that these, these are the eyes, this is all the hair, this is the nose. I was like, that's it. I joined the Marine Corps, the United States Marine Corps in 1992. So I served for eight years, the camaraderie. I miss being with other Marines and talking and just, you know, learning from people from different walks of life. That's what I miss. As far as the discipline in the military, that's what I brought with me to, you know, the civilian world, okay? And what I discarded from the military was my anger, because I was angry a lot. And it was really because, you know, it's, it's you're a Marine, you know, your testosterone fueled and you, you have to have that sort of energy. So I had to let that go so that I could be a better parent and that I can relax more and become more of an artist.